This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is we're making a sheet metal plenum out in the field using our Hillmore pocket brake in order to bend our cross brakes, bend our 90s, and we're also making an end cap out of one piece of metal without any slide, drive, or screws in order to attach this end cap. Coming up. So I've already cut out our, our piece of metal out of our four foot by eight foot sheet of metal. And so we're making a 13 inch by 19 and a half inch plenum box. So we've got 13 inch, 19 and a half, 13 and 19 and a half. And then we have a one inch right here and that's gonna be used to wrap it into a box. And this plenum is gonna be 16 inches tall. So we actually had to cut this at 16 and a half because we're gonna bend our half inch flange down here. So before we use our pocket brake in order to bend this all out, I just wanna cut our half inch pieces here and then we're gonna get started bending. Now that we cut these out for our future half inch flanges on the bottom of the plenum, we wanna go ahead and bend our cross brakes and then also bend our 90s using our pocket brake. So it's gonna look just like this. And these cross brakes are there so that there's no popping noise anytime that the plenum gets filled up with the air pressure and then our 90 degree bends are used in order to actually make our box. You wanna make sure to have either a piece of cardboard or you can have carpet underneath, or you could even do this on the ground. You just wanna have some type of a surface that will give anytime that you're pushing down on these blades. So we're gonna first start with our piece of cardboard and we're gonna do this by freehand. And so you can just actually put your, your pressure from your body right under the palm right here. And then now we'll use a straight edge. So we'll just have this offset next to the line just a little bit. And that's all that's needed in order to get your cross break. So that's pretty good. And then we can go ahead and bend this over once we get finished bending here and here. So now I wanna take you out to the, the outside and bend this in the grass. So now we're gonna bend our one inch flange upwards and then we're going to crisp up these 90 degree bends. I've cut this piece of S-lock and I'm gonna slide it on. And so you wanna have your half inch over here so we can bend our flanges outwards. And then over here, I leave myself about five eighths of an inch to end up putting the, the end cap on, even though the end cap's only gonna slide on about half an inch. If you want, you can do a third one. In this case, we'll just leave it as two. And now we're gonna take our measurements for our end cap. 
In order to get our measurements for our end cap, we need to first measure the distance right here. So we have 13 and eighth. And over here we have right on 13. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 12 and 7 eighths. And so that'll be a little bit smaller than this side and this side. And so now we're gonna add one inch to, to both sides of that. And so we're left with 14 and 7 eighths for, for this dimension. Got 19 and a half there and 19 and a half light. So let's go with 19 and 3 eighths. And then we're gonna add an inch to both sides. So that's gonna be 21 and 3 eighths. So we've cut out our end cap and remember this is one inch past on both sides. And what I did is I notched in with my 10 snips, one inch in both directions. I've also marked a half inch because that's gonna be our bend for our hem right here for our end cap. And the other thing is we're gonna bend our cross brakes right here using our pocket brake. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. So there we go, they're nice. And we're gonna move on to our next step. Now we're gonna take our folding tool and we're going to only come in about half an inch even though we're on the one inch bend side. And so we're gonna come in right to the lines. And we're gonna fold that over. Then we take our handbrakes. just like that. And so you're gonna see that the hem is pointed towards the center here and on this side is when we're gonna fold it up when we're done. But next we're gonna go ahead and bend the other three sides. Next step, we're gonna flip this over, and you see our quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, one inch notches in our handbrakes. What we wanna do is we're gonna take this on the half inch right here, just like that, and we're gonna bend it up a little bit. So just like that, and then we're gonna do that for all four sides. We're going to take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of open up these sections right here and then we're going to check this against our plenum. In order to put the end cap on, you just need two tools, your snap lock punch and your hand brakes. You could also use a duck slitting tool and a, and a flat head in case you have a problem in a corner. But we're gonna go ahead and get started now. And we're gonna start by putting this corner in first because over here you have your S lock. If you need to open this up to, to get your measurement a little bit larger at the end, you can do so. So once we have this side on here, Snap lock punch. So now that we have that on, you can hit it as well. We're 
We're gonna do this side since this is the long side. So now that we've snap lock punched this in place, we can then take our handbrakes and we can tighten this section up. We can also come along here. And then to seal it up, we can just take a little bit of duct mastic right around in this perimeter, and then we're good. You can use duct mastic out of a caulk tube such as this or in a tub in order to seal up the inside. To bend these flanges out, we can use our one inch side, and it's just going to ride down to half an inch right here. There we go. So our plenum fits snugly and then we would just go ahead and cut our duck collar right in the side or the top wherever our main trunk is coming off of. And if you want to learn more about some of the tools that we use in the video, make sure to check out the description section below as well as some of the other HVAC sheet metal videos that we did down there. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we have a bunch of free resources such as quizzes, calculators, the podcast. We've got articles, quick tips. We also have our Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book. We also have a 1,000-question workbook and quick reference cards, as well as PowerPoints and posters for teachers. So make sure you check all of that out over at acservicetech.com. And hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.